<laughs> it's just so strange. It's such a strange activity. It does such very... unusual things to people. Every time I think about the fact that I am one, I am completely mystified as to what that means. It seemed that everything was, that, that everything up until that point that I made a decision that I wanted to make art, I didn't know anything about art. Didn't know where it was, didn't know what it was about, didn't know what it meant, didn't know how to do it, saw other people do it. Somehow it was tied into a certain kind of, um, of uh, behavior. It just, it just seemed that there, were, there, must have, there must be a place where your imagination and your inquisitiveness and your values and your humanity can go without really coming up against uh, other people who are going to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. Why this stuff gets made, I don't know. I have no idea. It's pretty frightening not to know why you're doing something. The issue is not materialistic, it's not the completion of the piece. It has, it has to do with things that are much more important. You can fixate on the materialistic parts of, of a painting. Will it be valuable? Do you have a career? Do people like it? All that sort of stuff. You know? And you can play for that audience. Or you can treat it as a behavior. There's something else, there's something you want to say, something you want to, something that is really challenging, that really insults your intelligence, really insults you, makes you really work something way beyond you. And uh, the challenge is what it's about. It's not about finishing, it's not about, you know, shows, or it's not about who likes what or where, you know. I think it's really about, it's about a certain kind of human challenge. for years and years and years looking at dirt. Tire tracks, you know, bulldozers, how they grade it, everything else. I have no idea that it had any value whatsoever. But it's 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 real interesting because it was it's a, a it's a non-prime object. It's not it's not a Mercedes or it's not a you know a Tintoretto or something else. You know, it's dirt. Well, simply, the only time you care about dirt is if you have a lot on your boulevard. You know, then you care about dirt. You know, but otherwise you don't much care about it. And so, I don't care about having a lot on your boulevard. I'm sort of interested in the dirt, what it does, the tracks, the traces, what's going on, empty lots, and you know, I mean, just stuff that kids were involved with. You know, you, you throw dirt clogs at each other and all kinds of shit. But there seems to be something in it now for me in an entirely different way. And it's like, it's sort of like a child gazing into a puddle and seeing your reflection for the first time, you know? Um, you don't, you don't need anything more. You don't need a Cabbage Patch doll. You know, you don't need all, you don't need everything that people think you need. Simply playing in the mud or something is a real prime, but it gets lost. I mean, it gets, the values of, of that kind of prime sensation gets lost. In, in essence, you're, you're relating your passion to an activity. Your passion is an activity. The activity happens to be making a painting. It's not a work of art, it's a painting. You know? And that and that intrinsically involved in the making process is how you begin to expose your passion. The need to expose that passion demands of you to, uh, to learn how to make and to disclose the passion. 
The, the difficult part about it, I think, is consciousness. You know, is not to be confu- is is to be awake and aware of the motives of what you're doing, and not be and not even consider or be caught in, in any kind of a situation with trying to make art. In other words, if you're if you're preoccupied with the idea of making art, you become completely self-conscious, and you have absolutely no idea of what your relationship to the activity is. And so you dismiss the notion of art and simply say that, you know, that, that, um, that the work and that these pieces somehow are leading you somewhere which you don't know where and that you want to say something to yourself in this activity. It's the multiplicity, the scale of the activity is not simply finishing a materialistic thing and then labeling it art and putting it out in the world actually the object itself becomes a residue of the activity and that the activity emotional and intellectual activity and physical activity of making you know is is really where the content of the painting is and emergence the emergence of all of that simultaneously can make a beautiful object not because it's intrinsically beautiful but simply because the humanity of it is beautiful. And if, you, if you're able to read painting and read behavior and how the thing got made, then you, you can get entrance into it. And you get entrance into a person. You get entrance into the mind of the artist and the eye of the artist and, and how the thing got made, what it's about, and the scale of it, the dimension of it, and the, the choices that the artist made become alive.